I came to Cardigan because on the bulletin board at the University of Maine, on the education was a little brochure saying that Cardigan Mountain School needed teachers. It looked like a beautiful ivy covered buildings, what have you. So I made an appointment, drove her, and of course I, I found that the lodge on Cannon Street, and this little boy came out with his dog, and he's the one who convinced me that I should be there. He was a, way, a long way from home, he needed a cardigan, and that's what I think I needed too. I got together and told him what was happening, and then with her go back in the dorms, beautiful moonlight night, and they would come out with their pillows and had a fire. And I told the kids that, that the school leader, when the time is up, I'm gonna shout and you're gonna take everybody back to their rooms. And that night, there happened to be a visiting parent on campus, I'll never forget his face, and I, I think his son still came to Cardigan. But I loved it, I sat beside, and Joe Collins was there, we sat behind beside a tree, and watch this whole episode go on. Nobody got hurt. And I told the school leader, now. He got everybody together and they went back to as quiet as fantastic. You can't be in academics all the time. You have to be outside the, in the, in the, on the playing field, in the woods running, walking, seeing things that you've never seen before. I was climbing Mount Musilaki and coming down and snowing, some of the kids have never seen snow. Park the bus, let them get out to see it. This is important. It's a whole new life for some of these children. I just always felt that if you could get up in the morning and stand up and go to work and go to school and go to breakfast at Cardigan, it's a beautiful day in New Hampshire. And don't forget it.